Sioux Falls police are reminding everyone to not leave the keys in your car following a car theft that turned into a demolition derby at a neighborhood on the west side of town. The driver of a stolen truck plowed into two attached garages. Police are still looking for the driver who ran off. Kelloland's Perry Groton takes you to the scene of the crash and shows you what it took to remove the stolen vehicle without causing any more damage. The driver of this stolen pickup made a getaway into a garage. What we have established is that a truck was stolen and it crashed into two residences here near uh, 16th and Marion Road. Police spotted the driver in the vehicle but didn't give chase because of the wintry weather. The vehicle took off um, from them. Officers did not pursue, of course, keeping public safety in mind, especially with the recent road conditions that we've been experiencing. The driver hit one garage, bounced off, and plowed into the other causing enough damage to raise concerns about the garage caving in. This is what we refer to as a possible structural collapse. The pickup took out some of the load-bearing walls holding up the garage. So Sioux Falls Fire Rescue, with the help of a tow truck operator, used equipment, including airbags and the jaws of life, to carefully remove the vehicle. We've tied the suspension of the vehicle together so it can't move. We've lifted the vehicle up in the air. We've stabilized the vehicle, as you saw, so it can't move. And then we gently pull it out so that no further damage happens to any of the personnel, the vehicle, or the structures. Once the pickup was removed, the crew shored up the garage with temporary supports but it will be up to the homeowners to make the permanent repairs from damage caused by the thief who parked a stolen truck in the wrong place. In Sioux Falls, Perry Group, Kelo Land News. Sioux Falls police say thieves have stolen more than 60 vehicles this month alone, including five over the past couple of days.